So you're making a game in Godot, but you notice that your character slides down slopes without your consent. In this Godot 3.1 tutorial, I will show you how to stop that from happening. For this tutorial, we're using my third person character controller that I built in this video, with gravity added to it, which I explain in this video. But this will work on pretty much any character controller built on a kinematic body. In the code, we use Godot's move and slide function for gravity. To stop your character from sliding, there is a built-in function inside of move and slide called stop on slope. To activate it, all you have to do is write vector3.up to tell Godot which direction the floor is facing, and true. Congratulations, your character no longer slides down slopes. If only it was this easy to stop your life from sliding downhill. The reason why the character slides down slopes is because in each frame, it wants to move downward a set amount. But because there's a slope in the way, it applies the remainder of that downward movement along the face of the slope. Hence, move and slide, because the object moves until it hits an object, then slides along the face of the object for the remaining distance. Unfortunately, this solution only works in Godot 3.1. In Godot 3.2, the latest version, the developers made some changes and stop on slope no longer works. There are workarounds, of course, but I'm not smart enough to figure one out, and I don't want to give the developers a free pass to ignore a basic feature which other game engines have had for a long time. Until this gets fixed, if being able to stop on slopes is important to you, stick to 3.1. Some other move and slide functions you might want to know about are max slides, which is kind of a mystery to me, but it seems to affect the character's ability to climb certain slopes. And to activate it, all you need to do is write a number. The default is four, but you can put any number you want. Another important one is floor max angle, which determines how steep of a slope the character is able to climb. It's in radians, not degrees, so you might have to Google what radian value you want to use, but the default is around 0.5 which is about 45 degrees. If you lower the number, now the character will slide down slopes it used to be able to climb because that slope is now considered a wall and not a floor. Infinite inertia controls whether the object is able to push other kinematic bodies when it bumps into them, but that's something for another video. Well, that's all for today. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe it, share it, bell it, and comment it. Thank you, have a nice day.